What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the shop. Wanted to take a quick few minutes and talk about the chassis. Um, we're going to be doing a two-part deal on the chassis and components of the chassis, why it's a great chassis, um, and then go into detail uh, regarding all the components, how they fit, and details involved in all those components. So we'll start today with the first part, just going over the main chassis and the structure and talking a little bit about that and why the chassis is designed the way it is and why it's a great option for you uh, if you wanna get into a buggy. So let's get started. All right. So this is our two seat Longhorn chassis, fully welded, fully tabbed. All the components have been dry fit. Everything is fully welded. This chassis is ready for paint. So figured this be a good idea, a good, good spot to start talking about the components uh, that make up the chassis. So we'll start with the subframe. The lower main rails, these guys right here, run all the way back and all the way to the tail here uh, is all two inch 120 as well as the mounting points for right there front and rear those cross tubes at the belly are two inch as well uh, 120 mounting points for the lower links and then we have a third center support uh, for the belly pan um, in case you're constantly sliding on it uh, that is made from inch and three quarter and 120 wall which is removable and the lower subframe is constructed of two pieces so the front nose piece starts right here and this is a one-piece tube that runs all the way back and runs all the way to right here and that joint is sleeved with a piece of inch and three quarter and obviously you can see it is a node point for quite a few tubes. Um, so not only is the tube sleeve, but it's got four other intersecting tubes that make up that joint. So not going anywhere super strong. And then uh, the second tube runs from here all the way back to the tail. And we did that for a couple different reasons. Uh, the biggest being shipping. Um, we can actually take and make this joint right here uh, removable as well and send the all the two inch tube out pre-bent within a 48 inch pallet and just saves on shipping. Two inch makes it super strong. And then the next major component within that two inch is the actual tail and the nose. So on the tail here, the way we've designed this is it comes up from the floor pan, kicks in to allow for shock packaging, but it also kicks up. And that rake is about a five degree rake. And that helps when you're setting up suspension and it gives you more bump. So you can put your axle higher into the chassis um, when you're setting it up, which a lot of guys do for ground clearance or belly height, keeping that belly height low, able to get you that. And you can see same thing up front here. The front nose is raked and it's just the lower tubes that are raked um, to allow for that bump. So that is one, one feature of the chassis. Um, the next one I'll talk about is interior room. So a lot of guys go back and forth between what's too wide and what's not wide enough. And our chassis is 59 inches interior width. And it may sound like a lot, but when, if you're a big guy or if you just want room, we put the wide version of the Corbo Ultra Baja SS seats in here 
and they fit perfect. They are almost touching the center console and the exterior side tube. And it gives you, it doesn't, it doesn't make you feel like you're cramped. And that was the whole reason behind this design of this chassis was to get you one into a buggy, two, get you to do things that you normally wouldn't do in an off-road rig. Um, and three, still give you enough room to throw camping gear and take it out as a weekend wheeler. So wanted just wanted to give you an idea of why we designed the chassis the way we did. Um, the interior floor is all, all the way up to the front node up there and the passenger and driver without gas pedal, you can fully extend your legs out and it is very comfortable um, with, for leg room. And then head height, with the, with the way we have the seats mounted and the seats we use, uh, a six foot three guy can easily fit into the chassis and depending on what seats you run, even bigger. Um, I've had a six foot four guy in one of our chassis and he felt comfortable. So just know that it's designed for, for all different body types and gives you a wide range of options when it comes to seats and, and head height. So, um, center console, obviously we have a center console, a lot of comp buggies, don't have any center console. The seats are just stacked up against each other, and and that's okay. Um, there's there's some rock areas where having a narrow 48 to 50 inch chassis is desirable just for squeezing between stuff. But this one, aside from that, can do everything that those chassis can do with the added comfort. So, um, and this center console is an option you can add on to the chassis. Um, when you order it has all the sheet metal that comes with it top and the sides so and you can configure it the way you'd like to configure it whether you want cup holders or however you want ours has a battery disconnect winter shifter uh, rear steer valve and winch control uh, in the sheet metal and then the dash which is up here uh, gets a LCD um, iPad so lots of room on the interior to stretch your legs out and you can feel comfortable wheeling for eight plus hours a day in this thing and not feel cramped all right I wanted to keep these videos about seven minutes uh, max so I'm gonna split up these two videos and we'll resume uh, where we left off in the last one 